Welcome back to Morning Footy presented by Ford. Well, it has been a dream inaugural MLS season for St. Louis City. They are first in the Western Conference with 53 points. They have already clinched a berth to the 2023 MLS Cup playoffs, and they had that record-setting start to the season where they won their first five matches. Um, they have been so much fun to watch, one of the best stories of the league so far. And right now, we are absolutely to del delighted to bring in midfielder Edward Leuven of St. Louis City FC. Come on, Edward, Edward. let's give it up for Edward. Thank you got to give it up. Give it up. Edward. He, got, right. he got up early for okay, us. Okay, he did. He got up early for us, and we appreciate it. And I, I just want to ask right off the bat, if I had told you at the start of the season, this is the first season in Major League Soccer for St. Louis City, that at this point, with basically four weeks left, you would be sitting in, in first place in the Western Conference, very likely to be hosting some playoff games. What would you have said? Yeah, honestly, everybody asked that question. And I got to be honest, I would have never thought that, <laughs> not even close. Um, for me, I was thinking in the beginning, yeah, hopefully we'll make the playoffs. You know, I wanted to go step by step. And that's how we approached the season in the beginning. Um, yeah, so it's, it's for sure a little bit surprising when I look back to the start. But, um, you know, after a while where we were just playing very well, we had a great team atmosphere, we were winning a lot of games. And then, of, of course, uh, our, um, our goals have, have changed. And then we are focusing every time, like step by step, you know, as, as soon as we were sure we are making the playoffs, then we wanted to focus on um, having the first spot uh, in the conference. And so... We are trying to go step by step and uh, trying to, to be humble instead of, um, yeah, uh, talk too much. And uh, we want to have more, more actions than talking. Now, Edward, Jimmy Conrad here. I played for Kansas City for eight years, so I'm obligated to not like you. I just want to get that out in front of that. <laughs> but uh, I do want to state that do you feel like the season has changed for your team as – the opponents and other teams have started to figure out what has given your team success because it's one thing when you're unknown everything's fresh and new and everything's exciting you're winning a lot of games but as the season progresses I think it could get a little bit more difficult and getting into the playoffs as well where teams are gonna figure out how to slow you down yeah I agree that's a good question I mean in the beginning of the season uh, after we won five games in a row uh, the first five games we played Minnesota at home and it seemed already that they are trying to do that. Um, I mean, they gave us the ball the whole time. We were, um, we were having the ball in their, their half. They were defending a lot. Uh, in the end, we, we lost the game, unfortunately. So I think that was already pretty early in the season that uh, the other teams saw uh, the, the style we play, the way we are playing. But uh, that didn't keep us from winning. So I think um, in the end of the day, we still have a lot of qualities and you know, to, to execute uh, the way we play, the style we play, even, uh, yeah, 10 months in the season now. So I think that doesn't matter for us. In the end of the day, it's the style we play that, that we keep on playing that and keep on doing that, uh, how we just did it. And I think then we will have great chances in the playoffs. Edward, when you look at this season, we talked about the surprise element of it. We talked about how incredible it is. You guys are top of the Western Conference. Is there one thing above all else? Is there a moment in the season in which you guys recognize that this season was going to be special? What is it about this team that has come together so spectacularly? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, you got to give a lot of credit to, to Lutz, uh, who was building the team. You got to give a lot of credit to... Um, to the owners as well, uh, who bought into this project, who are not only owners of the team, but who are really die-hard fans. They are always in the locker rooms uh, after um, after all wins, you know, uh, in the in the home games. So I think there's a lot to it. I think uh, we have to give a lot of credit to the fans. Uh, the fans are supporting us in a way that is just incredible. Uh, I haven't experienced something like that before in the in the past, to be honest. Um, yeah, so I think there, there are a lot of things to it. Um, we we just have a a great um, great team, you know. Not not only the players, but around the team, all the staff members, uh, the the coaches. So um, yeah, I think th that's what makes St. Louis special. You you can tell the whole city is just behind us, and um, 
I don't know. We we all are just enjoying it, being an exp expansion team and being new to 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 everything, you know. Um, and I would say, like, winning the first five games was incredible. Um, it felt like after we lost the sixth game, we were like, uh, everybody was so, like, for a week, the atmosphere was so bad. And I was like, we have 15 points after after six games, but we weren't used to, to losing, you know. Um, and I think it was also this, this hunger in this team to always win again and again, you know. And, um, yeah, that's what, what I would say. So, Edward, I've been there for a U.S. soccer game, but I have not been to see a city game. And the atmosphere at the stadium, I'm glad you mentioned that. It looks top-notch. And you said it was. You're a guy from Germany, so you know what atmosphere is like in a stadium. But I want to know from you. We've seen players come into MLS year after year, and it, sometimes it takes some time to adjust. But you have hit the ground running, six goals, 11 assists. How did that transition go from you, and how, do, how have you been impressed? Or maybe uh, what are your thoughts of this league? Yeah, honestly, the, the league has improved a lot. And um, I was even like a couple of years ago, the MLS was al always very attractive to me, and there was always a dream of mine to come here. I honestly wouldn't have expected to, to come with 25, but I think that says a lot about the league, um, how attractive it uh, has been and now is becoming even more and more. And then I would say um, regarding the fans, I mean, in Germany, yeah, you said it, the atmosphere in Germany is great, the fans are great, the stadiums are usually always full and it's very loud, um, but the crowd here is different. It's, it's really different. Like. Um, I would say they are more positive and um, I don't know, they're enjoying themselves a little bit more in the <laughs> stadiums, I would say, which is good. Um, but I don't know, this, this stadium here, this atmosphere is really something special I haven't seen um, nowhere else. Uh, also, not, not in this league, to be honest. Um, and I think that says a lot why we are also winning a lot of games at home and why we are so good at home. And yeah, my performances, um, as I always say, um, I give all glory to God. I mean, I, I worked so hard, you know, to, to perform every single game very well. But in the end of the day, you never know. You go to a different country, very far away from your family and everything. Uh, came here with my wife and my, my big cat. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so um, I think the the adjustment has been has been so good. We we met a lot of great people here in the club, uh, found a great church, and I think these are all a lot of good things to have in in a foreign country, away from your family and friends, uh, to adjust very well. And yeah, I'm just very thankful uh, that the season has been so good. All right, so Edward, this is not really a question, more of a favor. St. Louis has already made the playoffs. My Kansas City hasn't. So if you guys could just kind of roll over and allow us to get the three points, we'd really appreciate that this weekend. Yeah, no chance. I mean, yeah. uh, I knew that was all right, he's not allowed on the show anymore. He's out. He's out. All right, Edward, hold on. Yeah. Big cat. What yeah. kind of cat are we talking about? Can we see it? You're like a tiger, right? Um. I would have to grab him. Uh, it's a British sh short hair. Oh, they're uh, so pretty. I love cats. Yeah, he's very pretty. He's, he's very fat. <laughs> What's his you name? Know, but, uh, Valik. Valik. All right. Next time you come on, can we get a Valik cameo, please? <laughs> like Dr. Evil yeah. just petting. Exactly. <laughs> well, no, I mean, they're clearly going to be in the playoffs, so I have a feeling we'll be talking to Edward again. Um, right. We really appreciate you taking the time to join us this morning. Congratulations on an awesome season so far, and best of luck the rest of the way. Well, after this weekend. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank See you, Edward. Edward.